Uh, so here we are in uh, Chatsworth Park. Just thought you guys might want to do a little walkthrough of these uh, California coast live oaks, Quercus agrifolia. So this is what one looks like. Well, five and a half feet in diameter, multiple stems, old pruning cuts. This is kind of what it looked like back when the Conquistadores arrived. Let's just spin around. There's some neighbors that live next door now, but there's a whole grove here. And these branches like to lay on the ground and they stay there. They're being held up, it stabilizes the tree. It's a cabling system. So much for having slack in their system. Hear that? So these branches are entirely supported by the ground from here on out. And then uh, little animals like to dig under here. Get out of the heat. And they get these longitudinal cracks, something like this. And what else is interesting? Oh yeah, the stubs. The stubs get healed over. Look at this one. This one's grown out it's over itself by about a foot. And they've even got some good old live Woundwood wrapping itself around there. Thanks to Al Shago for that. Of course, I think all the people watching this video never knew Al. And uh, some of us did. Quercus agrifolia. Let's, let's look at some leaves. These are uh, evergreens. They're waxy. They're very drought resistant. The wax keeps them from desiccating. They're curved. That helps them curl up in the wind and become tornado streamlines. And so the tree doesn't blow over. So that cup shape is actually uh, retractable. They turn into a little uh, tornado shaped tube. And I know the, the super width here. Uh, this particular camera setting doesn't allow me to zoom out. So this tree is like really wide. This tree here is, uh, you know, 75 feet wide. And they all grow together. They cast contiguous shade on the ground. They get maybe 10 or 20 inches of rain per year at the most. This year was a very bad rain year, a drought year. And we did have a windstorm here two nights ago. But I think these, these down branches over here were already down before the windstorm. So if we were to talk about the ecology of Quercus agrifolia groves, we would see that these are kind of uh, chaparral species which is kind of adapted to the coastal desert climate here in California. Uh, and it's interesting how this bark flakes away. And then up above, you got the original bark still on there. So as this tree matures, it's gonna look different. <clears throat> and these trees look like they're all the same age. So we, we don't really have any of this, the big old ones that the, uh, Franciscans came through in 1790 when they built the San Fernando Mission here in the San Fernando Valley. And uh, I guess people don't really know that 35 years later, uh, Mexico seized this area from Spain. And they only, they only had control of it for like 25 years. And then the U.S. government took it, stole it, uh, California, Arizona... New Mexico and Texas stole all that land. And then, uh, <clears throat> and then in uh, 1814, we bought 
the Louisiana Purchase, which is everything north of the California state line. So we were really on a uh, land grab back then. We, we had some episodes of genocide, and we still do. We're still doing that. We're, we're decidedly less overt about it now. Should we look at the down branches? So I guess everybody knows that in 1951 was the Mexican War, the Alamo, General Santa Ana, and some movies by John Wayne, with John Wayne, and everybody else and his brother. So here's a, kind of a codon fracture. Uh, I know my buddies in plant pathology love this kind of geeky stuff, but you can see how everything right in... Oh, sorry. Everything right in here was already loose. <clears throat> uh, so there was really only half the support that the branch needed. And then when it did eventually come down, that was kind of like a, the decomposers set in. You know, this whole forest is in the process of decomposition from the time an acorn sprouts. Trees are not trees. Trees are just temporary occupants of the land. How's it going? You got a lot of people coming through the park here. They're really enjoying themselves. We're looking at trees. And uh, over here, they're doing some, uh, looks like uh, field remediation. Uh, you can see the some of the fences got tore up by the wind and uh, there is a bathroom over here there's a playground over there and there's some there's some cliffs right near here stony point is right near here which is where the rock climbers hang out but we're under the grove so we can't see that right now if we were to keep walking which we're not we would be able to see stony point uh, here's a little stump. Well, we got all kinds of major <clears throat> down stuff. Let's go look at this stump. I'm into stumps. To me, a stump is a time machine. I don't know about you guys. I love stumps. Stumps are highly educational. If I would just shut up and listen to the tree. You see, this tree is, is talking to us. We can see the, the ring patterns. Look at that. Let's get some people in the comments to post stuff about what they see here on this Quercus agrifolia. You know, I mean, there's going to be loggers that know what kind of chain was used to cut this thing down. It looks like they cut into the dirt, which was not very self-preservation compliant. Oh, wow, we got some rocks over here. So these, these are the rocks. So this is a, this is a really small um, uh, landslide area where we put this park here in this little valley that was not loaded with not loaded with steepness. So if we go over here and we look at these rocks, this is what the rock climbers love right here. You, there's all kinds of boulders that come in here and they hang out in here and they can practice without risking their lives, without having to go to Yosemite and, and, and they can partake of these unique bouldering opportunities. Totally unique. This is a unique ecosystem here. These trees are well adapted to thin soil. There's hardly any dirt here. There's hardly any organic matter in the soil. And yet, this oak tree loves it here just fine. And then you'll get one or two storms per year and it'll wash away all the organic matter. And the roots still manage to uh, to enjoy so that's kind of uh, that's our walkthrough 
the California Chaparral. Thanks to all my buddies. Oh, the people that we saw in, in Expo. Oh yeah, you people are good. Here's some stone pines. Now these are imports. These kind of look like uh, Italian stone pines, which are pretty darn drought tolerant. And then there's some, there's some Brazilian peppers. But I'm gonna end this video. We'll catch you later.